Now, we've been warning man, about commercial real estate collapse for years and years. and years. We're going back pre-COVID. Um, wasn't a matter of if, it was a matter of when. Um, again, you know, the, the, the commercial real estate guys out there, they like to lie. They like to prop stuff up. Um, again, I'm not a direct investor in this nonsense because I know exactly what's going on. What we've been dealing with at Markowski Investments and here in this program are People, unfortunately, um, got sucked in to god-awful real estate investment trusts, non-tradable REITs or REITs that uh, they're having a difficult time uh, trying to get out of right now because they're limiting uh, redemptions. Um, all of these, these real estate investment trusts are bleeding billions and billions of dollars, um, and it's an absolute mess. Um, oftentimes, these real estate investment trusts, well, this is how we've seen it. Um, we've seen it play out where advisors out there, they don't want to deal with certain clients because you're not a big client and there's not much they can do with you. So they basically whack you over the head and tell you how wonderful this real estate investment trust is and the yield on this thing. And uh, it's kind of a set it and forget it thing for them. They put you in that and they don't have to deal with you anymore because you can't sell it. Not to mention the fact that they got a fat, commission when selling you this thing that wasn't suitable for you in the first place. Uh, again, if that's something that has happened to you, we can try to help you out as, as best we can. We've been doing it here at Markowski Investments. Reach out, get to our website at watchdogonwallstreet.com. But the idea that things, again, I, I got a kick out of this Wall Street Journal story, downtown offices are toxic, suburban ones are surviving. Yeah, they're talking about how uh, downtown office valuations are cut in half since 2022. It was a fugazi in 2022 as well. It's not like that things were really moving. They just said they were worth something. And I've given you my baseball card story. I can tell you what my baseball cards, I feel that they're worth. But again, it's worth what somebody else is worth paying for it at that point in time. Uh, suburban officers are like, hey, it's not so bad. It's down 18%. Yeah. Yeah. Um, that's going to fall apart too. Yeah. I, I know. So I know it's just some suburban office complexes are doing a little bit better than others, but, uh, on my, uh, travels, I mean, we all see it. We all see the for rent signs. We all see the, you know, the, the boarded up buildings and, and offices and, and what's going on. Um, so it's weakness across the board. Don't get fooled by this nonsense. Still have a long way to go to the downside when it comes to commercial real estate. And again, again, um, if you were sold a bill of goods by some god awful advisor, it stuck you in some stupid real estate investment trust uh, that is tanked because they have tanked. Um, pick up the phone, go to our website. We can help you out. Watchdog on wallstreet.com.